We're all Americans, just different Americas. Black folks, we also got to, we got to try. I ain't saying we're going to do it, but we got to try sometimes to get the benefit of the doubt sometimes. Everything ain't racism. About 2%, so 2% <laughs> that ain't racism. You got to recognize that 2%, what you see. I was at McDonald's. This dude was cussing everybody out. <laughs> Swore it was racism. I walked in this fast food spot. This dude cussing everybody out. This is the thing. Like, fast food spots already do shady stuff. So I'm not saying they don't deserve to be cussed out. <laughs> they do. They deserve a good cussing every now and then. Because the thing they do now, some of these fast food spots, they love to charge you for sauce when you get nuggets. You know, you want an extra sauce with your nuggets, it's going to be, oh, you want another sauce, brother, it's going to be 25 cents. <laughs> How you charging for sauce, bro? That's, I, I want two sauces. Well, I need a quarter. <laughs> it ain't your sauce. Just slide that shit across the counter. <laughs> the Sitting here arguing with a grown man about two ounces of sauce. <laughs> that don't even belong to you. It'd be different if this was a mom and pop restaurant and special sauce and she's making it in the basement, but this is sauce from a factory. It's in a box. <laughs> it's not like your register gonna come up short two honey mustards, man. Just <laughs> give me the sauce. You ever meet the guardian of the sauce? This dude is serious. Then got a different color shirt from everybody else at work, so now he arrogant. You know, brother, I'm supervising now, I sure know. You know. If it was up to me, I would give you another sauce. It, it is up to you. <laughs> it's on your side of the counter. <laughs> I just want two sauces without paying for them. That's all I want. But I walked in this, this spot, man, this dude was cussing out the whole store. Swore it was racism. And I'm not saying that racism wasn't one of the causes for him getting bad service. I'm just saying he jumped to that conclusion a little fast. He didn't go through the progressions. <laughs> he ordered a six-piece nugget. It was five nuggets in the box. <laughs> and I didn't even know what was going on. I'm texting. As soon as I walk in the door, I'm texting. I hear this dude. I hear this dude over in the cut. I hear this dude go, I kill everybody in this bitch. <laughs> You know, that, that gave me pause. Because he said he'll kill everybody in this bitch. And I already had a foot in the door. Am I technically in this bitch, sir? Because I can pull this foot out and go to Arby's. It ain't that deep. Boy, it was racism, man. Y'all stole my nugget. Tired of white folks. White folks don't want us to have shit. <laughs> don't my nugget. And then he gonna turn to me. You see this shit, brother? You see the government? <laughs> it's our nuggets today. It's our children's nuggets tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm trying to reason with the dude. I'm like, you sure they stole the nugget? <laughs> they stole it. That's. That's what you're gonna roll with, out the gate, just off the top, stole it. Cause you know, sometimes they might have forgot something. You know, sometimes the nuggets be stuck together. You got to go through the progressions. You might have a double nugget. Check and see if you got the double nugget. Hey, that's good luck. You get the double nugget, you like that one first. Ain't no double nugget. White folks is stolen. If I was white, I'd have got seven nuggets. And that's when I backed off. I'm like, I can't help this dude. <laughs> I'm like, look, bro, I know you mad and there's a lot of racial tension in the world, but this ain't racism. This is a fast food spot at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Some of them folks back there can't count to six. <laughs> you want six nuggets, you need to order a four-piece and a two-piece. <laughs> that's how you trick their ass and get two sauces for free.
<laughs> I like fast food employees. I appreciate the fact that fast food employees are rude. I like it. At least it's from the heart. Because people are too nice now. You go out to these stores, everybody, hey, how you doing? Are you good? Thank you for choosing us. <laughs> you think them people want to be your friend or they'll get fired for not speaking? Which one you think it is? Because 10, 15 years ago, nobody spoke to you when you went in the store. Now, all of a sudden, everybody want to kick it with your ass? No. <laughs> That's a corporate mandate, and I'd rather you not do it. I get in the grocery store, it's just too many questions at the register. Just ring up the shit that's on the belt. <laughs> we ain't gotta be friends. I'm here, I'm spending money. You won. What else do you want? <laughs> Why well, I gotta be your friend too, man? <laughs> Did you find everything okay? You know what? No, I ain't, no. No, I ain't find nothing. I ain't find nothing. I need it. And rather than ask for assistance, I just brought this shit up here at random. <laughs> just bring that up. I just guess I'll leave. <laughs> be at the grocery store, they'll be trying to critique everything you got on the belt. And a bloop, bloop. Oh, I see you got the apple. I like blueberry. Well, go back there and get you one. <laughs> I, I like apple. I want to talk to you. Uh, the price you pay for politeness is your time. So you want somebody to be nice to you? That's cool, enjoy it, but I'd rather get them minutes back with somebody I know. <laughs> Stop asking me if I got the discount card. I ain't got the discount card. If I ain't pull it out, I ain't got it. Don't ask me. <laughs> Standing at the register having a 15 minute negotiation about why I should become a member of your club. Fuck your club, bro. I don't wanna be. <laughs> Just for that, I ain't coming back. I was gonna come back, but then he asked me to be in the club, and I don't know. And then why I gotta join the club? Why I gotta, why I gotta join the grocery store Illuminati just to get a discount? <laughs> Can't you just always give me the discount? Don't that make the most sense? Just always give me the cheapest price, and then I spread the word, and then I bring more people with me. You don't have, every, you don't have your price buster reward card? No, I ain't got it. I ain't got the car. Do you want to apply for a price buster report? No, I didn't come here to do homework. Just ring up the shit. <laughs> I want to leave so bad, I'd rather pay full price. That's how bad I want to go home right now. Oh, well, sir, it's no big deal. You ain't said nothing. Tell you what, I'll just use my card for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a card this whole time. That's time wasted. Yo, straight up, every grocery store should just have a shut the fuck up lane. That's the solution. <laughs> you don't want to talk to somebody, you get to go down to register two. You want to have chit chat, you go to register three. But register two, we getting shit done. 